Hello! Welcome to this week's video. I am re-recording my intro because my previous intro was such a downer. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I guess I am coming off my period, so on that first day I probably did solidly have my period and just could not provide any personality. Um, therefore, who would want to watch that video watching the first couple minutes? I have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to show you how I transformed this bookcase, this custom built-in situation behind me. Um, I will show you what it looked like before, and then I will show you how I got to here. This is a really great option if you are a renter. Um, you don't have to paint if you don't want to, but I did. But the way that I built this is a good option because it has the capability of being a no drilling, I mean, well, you have to use a drill, but um, you don't have to drill into the wall if you don't want to. I did because at the top here, there is like um, an extra section that, because see how this is shaped weird? Can you even tell? Weird shape right there. What I'm failing to say here is that I needed to put a notch that would hold the shelf on this part of the wall because this wall sticks out. I can't have this ladder that I made on the left side. So the way to avoid this would to be to not have a top shelf if you cannot screw into your walls, etc. But I can. My landlord basically lets me do whatever I want. So there's a notch up here. Here it, here it is. This is the notch. Had to screw that into the wall. But unnecessary. Avoidable. If you need to. So anyways. Um, also great if you have to fill in a gap where you know you have sort of like an indentation in a wall. That you can put in a nice custom easy to build bookcase. Bookshelf bookcase. Um, yeah. So let's get into this video. I think that's all I really want to say. If you're new here, my name's Michelle. I'm an interior designer, um, aspiring to be full-time. However, I work in TV and film. That's how I pay my bills. And anyways, let's get on with the video. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by and I hope you stick around because it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little silly later. Um, maybe a little embarrassing for me, but okay. Let's go, let's go. So, I'm going to make like a semi built-in shelf situation. Um, I'm going to eliminate all of these cinder blocks. I'm going to reuse these pieces of wood for the shelves. I just have like a big stack of books that really need a better home. And um, Elliot's art supplies just kind of like takes up so much space over here. So I'm just trying to like reconfigure it so that it can be a multi-use space and also be less of an eyesore because it's driving me nuts. Just one of those things that just uh, over time just drives you nuts. So <laughs> let's let's get started. Let's make some bookshelves. because this is like a custom, I'll show you what I've done so far. So these are like the sides. So once everything is painted, this is gonna fit in here like that. This piece will fit in here. like that. I just need to come across and, and figure out where this matching piece needs to go on, whoop, on, on this wall so that it can have a shelf. Okay, I 
painted all of the wood that's going to fit in here. So all I have to do is paint this. And I'm sorry that I didn't show you, but it's not that exciting. But at least I'm showing you one part of the process. Okay. If you have watched my videos before or know me as a person, you know that I work in TV and film. And this particular paint was left over from set and sometimes like at the, when, when you're at wrap, there's like a ton of paint left over and you can take whatever paint. And because my husband is an artist, I took a bunch of paint home. And this particular green is the perfect vintage green that I was looking for. And I, and I bought a sample at the hardware store and I was going to go back and buy more. And then I realized that I had this perfect vintage green already in my house. And it's from the TV show, A League of Their Own. And let's see, I don't know if this says what it was for. I don't think it does. But I have like other random paint. This might be interesting, this might not be interesting. But this paint right here says Schwartz Market, walls and baseboard. This one says train station, gray parking lines. Totally weird, <laughs> but anyways, free paint, free really nice paint. This is, um, this is the like one coat guarantee paint, so you know it's good. previous clip in, entails um, because I don't really remember if you know what I mean <laughs> um, anyways I did a decently good job considering my condition that was very cute buddy um, so all I have to do is touch up a little bit and then we can be on our way. I'm so excited and I love the color. I think the color is so good and I hope you can you can tell in in the camera how good it is. But okay. Oh buddy. Ooh.
our bookshelves and I don't want to like f just fill it up for the sake of filling it up I've said this before I like to be realistic on this channel so uh, I'm gonna leave it here and you know as life happens it will naturally fill itself up um, I have recently fallen back in love with reading books so my book collection is expanding okay well um I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to do that please uh, also you can leave me a lovely little comment on what your favorite thing was or um, how clever I am about making the shelves like this so that they fit so snug. Maybe something you would have done differently, of course. Uh, always open to all of these things. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy whatever day it is you're watching this. And I will see you next Sunday. Okay, love you, bye.